Every family should have a fabulous chocolate cake recipe and this is the perfect one for you. It's really simple, it's easy to follow and it allows you to add amazing flavours right in the middle to make a real showstopper. So first thing we need to do, 250 grams of butter and then we've got 250 grams of golden caster sugar. I like to use golden caster sugar because it just adds that extra little dimension of flavour. So, in with our mixer and we're now going to beat this until it's really light and fluffy. So nice and slow to begin with. It's really important that you give this time, at least five minutes, if not ten minutes, of just beating the two together to get the sugar to completely dissolve into the butter so you end up with one texture. You can see it's gone really light and fluffy and what the sugar and butter have done is they've kind of amalgamated into that same texture, which is perfect now for us to incorporate the eggs. So, pop it back onto the machine and what we now need to do is get four eggs in there and it's really important that you do this slowly, straight into a measuring jug. We'll whisk this egg mixture together which will allow us to add tiny little bits of egg at a time to make sure that it's fully amalgamated into this mixture. Put your mixer on to number one, on the lowest setting and then that will allow us just to drop a little bit of egg mixture in at a time. So drop some in and then let that fully incorporate before you then add some more. I've incorporated all the eggs into this mixture now and it is super light and fluffy. If I show you that, look, it's almost mousse-like. That's what you want to be looking for. Now we're going to add a little bit of vanilla extract to this and that'll just give it a lovely extra boost of flavour. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of lime zest because chocolate and lime for me is really kind of that nostalgic kind of combination of flavours. Very British, really nice. So, just a little bit of lime zest. Not heavy on the lime, but just a little bit of fragrance would be nice. Now, I've got 250 grams of self-raising flour, and I've got some dark cocoa powder. It's just really important. Now we're adding flour to this mixture. We don't overmix. The beating of this and the incorporation of the butter, the sugar, and the eggs, that's where you really do work this mixture and get all the air into it. You now don't want to develop too much gluten into this, so you just scatter your flour in and then add your cocoa powder and then we're just going to mix this really gently. Move the spoon around the bowl and just bring it all together. Then we're just going to add a splash of milk just to loosen this mixture a little bit. Just fold it together nice and gentle. And what you end up with is kind of this dropping texture. That's what you want to be looking for. So that's ready for the oven now. So we get two cake tins and then I've got some parchment paper here and then we are just going to line these tins and then very simply we're just going to divide the mixture between the two sandwich tins, big spoonful in this one, big spoonful in that one. Same again. So a little tip when you're trying to sort of spread this out is just wet the back of your spoon and then that will allow you just to be able to spread it out really easily and you'll not get it all stuck on the spoon. Give the cakes just that little tap and then they're ready for the oven. I've preheated it 180 degrees and straight in for about 20 minutes and then we're just going to press the top and make sure if it springs straight back when you press it, it's cooked. If it's not, it's going to need a little bit longer. While my cakes are cooking, I'm going to make a beautiful passion fruit curd. This is a fabulous recipe. You will absolutely love this. It's well worth making whether you're doing a chocolate cake or not. So what you need is 125 grams of butter and we're going to pop that straight into a bowl. This is sat in a pan of boiling water. And then we want three egg yolks. Twist this together. I've got some golden caster sugar here. You want a couple of tablespoons. Just pop that straight in and then we'll whisk those eggs, sugar and butter together and they'll start to melt straight away. And then we've got our passion fruits, absolutely packed full of flavour and also we want half a lime. We'll keep the other half for a little secret touch to our chocolate cake. So the juice of a lime, straight in, that's going to give a real contrast. The thing with curd is it can be quite rich, you've got sugar, you've got egg yolks, you've got butter. You need something nice and sharp to cut through it so that you've got the fragrance and the flavour of the passion fruits, but then you've also got a little hit with the sharpness of the lime and it works really well. So once you've cut your passion fruits open, just scoop them straight out, seeds and everything, because it just gives a nice crunch. And the minute you cut these passion fruits open, you can smell that wonderful 
kind of tropical perfume that it has. It's, oh, there's nothing like it. It's so fragrant. Once you've made this passion fruit curd, you will always want it. Even a spoonful of this straight on some lovely vanilla ice cream makes an amazing pudding. And then we'll just whisk that together. Turn the heat up a little bit now, because what we want to do is we want to melt the butter, heat it up and cook the eggs through, and that'll thicken it. And then it's all about just making sure that it doesn't catch. You don't want scrambled eggs here, you want a lovely, thick, rich curd. So give it a good whisk, and just keep whisking now until it starts to thicken. Cakes have had 20 minutes in the oven, and we're just gonna check and see if they are cooked. So lift them out. And if you just press down there, they spring back and they're firm to the touch, which means they're cooked. So we're just gonna let those cool down. Before they do, I just wanted to add one more dimension of flavor. And the way to do that is just with a fork, just press some holes into the top of the cake. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add like a little bit of a lime drizzle. So I've got the other half of my lime here and some golden caster sugar and we're just gonna mix the two together. And this is gonna give a really kind of zingy lime crunch to the top of the cake. And just grab a teaspoon, and we're just gonna mix this together. So it's a little bit like a lemon drizzle style. But obviously with lime and dark chocolate, it's gonna work beautifully. So just pop that on, and then we're just gonna let that kind of soak into the cake. And it'll keep the top nice and moist, but it'll also give it an incredible flavor. So we're gonna make some mascarpone cream to go in there as well. One tub of mascarpone cream straight in there. And then we're just gonna add a teaspoon of honey just to sweeten it, just to kind of give it that sort of slight sweetness, but not too much. So one teaspoon of honey in there will be just enough. Take a vanilla pod and we're gonna cut the top off. And then using your knife, nice and parallel, just sit it. And what you need to do is just carefully split this vanilla down the middle. Just take your time, keep your fingers flat, parallel to your chopping board, and just cut through. Flip the vanilla pod over, and then just use your knife and just scrape out those lovely little black seeds. See, there we go. We can pop those straight in there. Just beat the two together. And you'll see straight away, look, those all those vanilla seeds there. That's just gonna be incredible sweet flavor there and it's gonna work in contrast to the lime syrup and the passion fruit curd. Now that the cake's cooled, we'll take the base layer first, and then we are gonna take a serrated knife, and then we're just gonna cut the top flat, so we've got a nice, fresh, soft, moist base to the cake. Got our cake stand here, so we'll just lift this on. This is the last tricky bit. Once you get this on, you're home sailing. So it's time to assemble the cake now. So first things first, our mascarpone cream. So we've got loads of vanilla in here and honey as well. And we're just gonna spoon this straight on the top. And just use the back of your spoon and then just push all the mascarpone cream right to the edges. You can see all the flecks of the vanilla bean all the way through this. It's gonna taste incredible. We've then got our passion fruit curd. This is now cooled. And what you can see is that it's thickened and it's gone nice and rich and it's got incredible, you can smell the fragrance on this. And then we are just gonna simply spoon it on. You can put as much or as little on as you like on this, but just be careful, because it will wanna seep out. The cake's had the 10 minutes in the fridge now. It's just allowed the mascarpone just to firm up a little bit, as well as the curd. There is nothing left more to do now than take the top of our cake that's got this beautiful lime drizzle on the top, and just unwrap it. And you can see, look at the glisten on that and the crystallized sugar on there. It's gonna give a lovely crunch, a great tang. It's gonna be the perfect top into this cake. And there we go. And then, I can't resist. You gotta give it a little squash. I just want some of that curd just to kind of ooze out. And the only way is just to give it a bit of a squidge. Oh yes, look at that. That is my chocolate and lime cake with a passion fruit curd and mascarpone and vanilla cream running right the way through the middle. Give it a go.